The station commander at Leonardville Police Station, Chief Inspector Lina Binga, emphasized that ending gender-based violence amongst communities should be everyone's responsibility. Chief Inspector Binga advocates for more seasonal activism and appeal for funding from government and non-governmental organizations to assist with advocacy. Larger scale of reduction of violence against women can be achieved through feminist activism and advocacy, coupled with coordinated action across justice, health, financial, and other sectors. Recent evidence suggests that strong and autonomous feminist movements are the most crucial factors in driving change. The Ministry of Gender Equality's Community License Officer, Gunonja Hambira, says public education is key in tackling gender-based violence. Education is crucial. After campaigning on this issue for nearly two years, I started with the Ministry of Gender. I'm seeing the whole picture. It's an intricate issue. Uh, and there are so many layers where we need to address it. But education is where everything begins. And that's where discrimination also begins. Omaheke governor, Pio Ganate, also spoke against abuse of alcohol. What is worsening everything in our communities is the use or abuse of alcohol. The mess break from alcohol for erker elker den in our community. And I'm calling upon the chief inspector that in a small village like Leonardville, we don't have any reason to have bottle stores opening 24/7. We must go sleep. In town, the bottle stores are closing six o'clock. I shall let that be a pity. Since the bottle store is too, mind the local city is so. Ochen tot ochen. We cannot develop. We cannot create two types of world in one in one country. A world of chaos and a world of order. And it's us ourselves who have to enforce these laws. Gary Kabari, NBC News. Hope